Oh my gosh, Vogue? No way. I can't believe I'm on Vogue right now. That's so crazy. <laughs> Hey Vogue, <laughs> hi Vogue, I'm Zoe Raymond and I'm going to show you guys my natural everyday makeup. <laughs> okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am pretending that I am on Vogue's YouTube channel showing you guys like my beauty secrets. I said everyday natural makeup, I don't do this every day, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but I just thought this would be fun, it's a trend going around right now and so I thought I would just hop on it. The only thing is I don't have a fancy like huge bathroom to do my makeup in so I'm just in my room luckily I have this cute little corner also I have this candle lit that my roommate Grace gave me and it's a volcano candle it smells so good it's really setting the tone for the video I have not done any of my skincare yet so I will be showing you guys that too even though I just did a night routine where I showed you guys pretty much what I do but we'll put it in this video as well I did already brush my teeth and I used my Nova shine teeth whitening kit to to get some pearly whites. I'm going to go wash my face with my Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. I have used this since the beginning of time, since I had like my first breakout. I love it. I don't know that I will ever switch. So I'm gonna wash my face with this, then I'll be back since we're not in the bathroom. Sorry that you can't see that. Sorry this isn't Vogue, for real. I'm using this huge satin scrunchie to keep my hair back. Just washed my face and now I'm going to tone my face with witch hazel. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on this little pad. I'm going to use my CeraVe moisturizing lotion. It has SPF 30 in it, which is great since it's been warmer. My friend Gracie told me and I got a comment on my last video about how CeraVe tests on animals apparently. I, I mean, I didn't know that when I bought it, but now I do. So after I finish this one, I think I'm gonna try to find a different one. So if you have any suggestions for dry skin, for moisturizers, please comment and let me know. My face is all moisturized. This is fun, I really like this setup. I've never filmed here before. It makes me feel fancy a little bit. I'm going to just put on some chapstick because that's important. I don't have one specific chapstick I use all the time, but this one is Vaseline. Now we are going to dive into makeup. That is it for skincare. I really don't do a ton. I like to try and keep it simple with my skin, although since it is dry. Sometimes I have to do a little bit extra, which is kind of annoying. I don't think I really want to do foundation just because I really don't wear foundation every day, but I do want a little bit of a little something. So I'm going to use this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade Fresh Beige. And I'm just going to put that on spots and my T-zone. It honestly matches my skin kind of well, which I feel like concealer is not supposed to do but I don't care <laughs> I'm gonna put it in areas where I get a little bit red sometimes that should be it I don't want a ton and I'm just gonna use this brush I use it for foundation but I'm just gonna use it for concealer because I'm such a rebel and I'm just going to rub that all into my skin Going down to one video a week has kind of let me know how much I really do enjoy filming because I get excited to do it, which is really nice, I think. That's my concealer. My skin looks a little bit more even, but doesn't look like too much. It kind of doesn't even really look like I did anything, which is what I like. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. translucent powder to go over it just a little bit, just to make sure it's really set in stone. So I just have this like fluffy brush that I'll use very lightly, not too crazy, just to make sure we're good to go. Now I'm just going to do a little contour bronzer moment, and I normally use this Laura Geller bronzer, but I always forget that I have this Tarte Pro Glow palette thing that has highlighter and these down here. This one is called Shade, and then this one is Sculpt, so we're going to use that today. This is not a tutorial, but I'm just going to use Sculpt. Sculpt. 
And then to bring it down, I am gonna use my Laura Geller one. It's the Baked Body Frosting All Over Face and Body Glow Tahitian Glow. That's just a mouthful, wow. I'm just gonna go over, just kind of go to my jawline and bring it down. And that's it. Now I look a little bit more glowy, a little bit more bronzed, if you will. We're gonna stop there with the face makeup and we're gonna do my eyebrows. I use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. I have been putting coconut oil on my eyelashes and my eyebrows lately. Because my skin used to be really dry, or is really dry, I would use this spoolie and brush out my eyebrows and it would be like, flaky ew right but ever since i started using coconut oil that doesn't happen anymore so there's a little beauty secret for you <laughs> That's it for eyebrows. I'm going to use my Revolution eyeshadow palette for eyeshadow and I'm not gonna do a ton. I honestly, I'm probably just gonna use like two colors. I'm gonna go in first just with this super light beige color. And I didn't like use anything to prime my eyelids, but I did put concealer on them earlier. That'll be enough. So we'll do that. And then I think I'll just use, oh, it looks like there was like some dark brown residue do on there but that's okay I'm gonna use this color um, but anyway what was I saying about filming just that I missed it I think it's currently exam time we had our last day of class two days ago filming this on a Friday last day of class was on Wednesday so I have no more classes but I do still have exams and papers and stuff so right now I'm kind of just focusing on like studying for exams and stuff and then it'll officially be summer and I will officially be a college senior which is crazy I I can't I, I just I can't <laughs> okay that's gonna be it for eyeshadow it really doesn't look like anything's there but that's okay to be on the more natural ish side I'm not gonna do eyeliner today I'm not really feeling it but I will where is my where is that oh wow breaking news this just in oh just kidding <sighs> I thought I lost my better than sex mascara, but I didn't. It's right here. I probably should buy another one. This is almost out and I've had it for too long. I used to think that eyelash curlers were pointless and didn't really do anything, at least to my eyelashes. But ever since I started using them a little bit more and realized they were actually doing something, <laughs> I feel like I can't put on mascara without curling my eyelashes first. Yeah, this mascara is definitely almost out. Anyway, I keep talking about something and then getting distracted, but I've been talking about YouTube and just where I'm at with it and just like in regards to school and time and stuff, but since exam are basically gonna be next week and then that's it. I may go back to doing two videos a week because I think that one a week is not doing anything great for my channel. Just like analytics wise and growth wise, like I feel like my growth has been a little bit stagnant ever since going down to one video a week, which has made me feel a little bit discouraged, but I can't let that happen. So I think I'll go back to two videos a week Woohoo! Exciting! Plus, I will have the time too, which will be nice. Okay, mascara is done. Ooh, it looks really good. Ooh, my skin looks a little dry down here. My mascara looks good though. Yay! Okay, the majority is done. I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. This is the Phase Zero blush. Focus, please. I really love the color. It's like a peachy kind of color. Peachy, pinky. And I got my peaches out in Georgia. Also, this blush smells good. Like, it, it smells like sunscreen and like the beach. And I bring my blush up, which I think most people do. I don't know the reasoning but a little bit on the bridge of my nose for a little bit of a sun-kissed look. Before we do highlighter, I'm gonna use my fluffy, br fluffy brush and just kind of combine the bronzer that was there with my blush. Then I'm going to use my Mega Honey highlighter. This is what it looks like. Very shiny and fun. Oh my gosh, look at that. I mean, come on, come on. Can't forget the nose and the cupid's bow. I am going to use my NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Looks like that. I 
I look all dewy. That's nice. And lastly, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of my Revlon Super Lustrous The Gloss. It's kind of like breaking up a little bit. <laughs> Does that mean it's time to get rid of it? Because if so, that's awkward because I don't want to. This is like my favorite lip gloss ever because it looks very natural but also gives a little bit of a little tint. Okay, I think that is going to be it for makeup. Take out the hair. I am going to finish things off with one of my favorite perfumes. This is the Jimmy Choo Illicit Flower. Such a cute bottle. This is literally one of the greatest scents in the whole world. And we are good to go. I feel cute. I feel like I'm actually on Vogue, which is stupid because I'm not. Vogue, hit me up. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to like it. Subscribe if you're new. Hey, <laughs> I forgot we're doing this comment of the day thing. Also, I've been waiting for people outside to stop doing things with the grass, but I don't know if it's gonna stop anytime soon, so I'm gonna make this quick, but it's a couple days later, but we're doing it. The comment of the day is from Frankie Rossi. They said, I love this. Just letting you know that CeraVe tests on animals, so when you finish, definitely look for other moisturizers with a little heart. Like I said earlier in the video. I did not know about this until my friend told me and I got this comment. I also did my own research to see. Again, comment down below some other moisturizer options and just comment in general if you want to be featured in the next video because I am making this comment of the day thing a thing for all of my videos. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a good time. That's it. I just, I forgot that I needed to add this in. Yeah, this video was actually a lot of fun. Sorry, I didn't have like a fancy bathroom to do it in or like a white beautiful robe, but I did the best that I could. That's gonna be it. Do all the things. Thank you Vogue for having me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is so natural. Hi Vogue. <clears throat> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Trucks outside, of course. It's not a video on my channel without trucks in the background. Oh wow, something's in my eye! Alright, mess. Cut it in my mouth.